Good morning. I'm very excited about this. Uh, actually, I'm not going to talk about what is in the book. Uh, these are newer data. Mm -hmm. uh, on the front page, you can see a picture from Queen Maud. It's from the day uh, that we have toddlers being there. One day each year, we, have in we are inviting the toddlers to come and visit us. And you can see they have they are there. Yeah. <laughs> so this might be a symbol of Queen Maud. Yeah. Um, as you see here, I'll just take uh, some few aspects about the background for this study. In 2005. Uh, the early childhood education and care uh, was added to the Ministry <coughs> of Education in Norway. It means it's a part of the educational system. One year later, we got the new framework plan and the directors or preschool teachers felt that uh, this uh, plan uh, stressed more learning than before. Uh, this is knowledge we got uh, from a study of the implementation of the plan. So, uh, my questions uh, are these. Which stakeholders do directors of early childhood centers perceive as the most significant? when it comes to expectations to the centers as learning arenas for children. So this is about children, not about the learning organization. B. What is the content of these expectations? C. How do the directors deal with these expectations as managers or leaders <coughs> of centers? Uh, briefly, um, we have talked in a political perspective uh, to organizations where you can see different stakeholders as actors with different values and interests. They contribute to the organization and they want some re uh, reward back. For example, it might be the parents who are paying for when the children are in the centers and they want quality centers back and so on. Uh, we were asking uh, these directors about the external expectations. So this is both external and internal, but we stress that we want to know how you think about the external expectations. Uh, as you see here, one way of understanding leadership is to use, see leadership as different functions. As a staff function, as an administrative function, as an external function, and of course the pedagogical function, which is the main subject in this con uh, connection. Uh, as you see here, uh, earlier studies uh, have shown that uh, the external functions are increasing in Norway. Berg has done some studies that show that this is a very important part of being a director in Norway today. So that is why we were stressing the external expectation or emphasizing this expectations. Uh, we, uh, this uh, study is based on, based on qualitative interviews with uh, 16 directors, 8 in private and 8 in municip uh, municipal centers. In Norway we have half and half of uh, private and municipal centers. 
That is why we divide it in this way. And the interviews are quite open. We used an interview guide, but it was much up to the directors to give the answers. We didn't give them categories or try not to leave them. So um, it's what they think in about this relatively freely. If we take uh, question A first. Which stakeholders do directors or ECCs perceive as the most significant when it comes to expectation to the centers as learning arenas for children? Uh, then they were saying that parents were very important. The private owners could also be important with expectations and the municipalities uh, who are both owners of uh, half of the centers, but they are also an authority uh, related to all centers. Something about the content. In general, uh, the directors uh, said that uh, the expectation uh, towards that children should learn are more pronounce that the expectation to the two words what children should learn. Children must learn but what is not so important. Uh, the private owners they were expecting they were not very precise either precise either maybe some of them but the general uh, answers said that uh, they were most uh, emphasizing that they should lead according to the framework plan about learning there. And the municipalities, they, some of them gave uh, some areas that they wanted the centers <coughs> to emphasize. Like language, text and communication and quantity space and shape, which are two areas in the framework plan. And these areas are close to beginning in school, what you learn there, the basic skills in school. So how do the directors <coughs> deal with these external expectations? Uh, they were uh, emphasizing uh, pedagogical and staff functions. <laughs> Uh, they uh, wanted to develop a common view among the staff on learning. What do we in this center think about learning in the frame of what the framework plan says? Uh, they were uh, observing their staff to see if they had enough skills to work according to this view and according to the framework plan and they were emphasizing to develop the competence of the staff. <coughs> uh, external function were very important. I think that this also can be uh, seen in relation to that Norway have um, uh, full uh, covering of um, centers, so they felt that they were working in the market. We have to be good so that the parents want to come to us. Um, so they were working a lot with the reputation of their centers. They were also working with the staff in that way, but also in a dialogue with the parents, uh, how to present, how to document what the children are learning. And I have seen that's very important here too. I have seen documentation. It's an important part of uh, the work here. Uh, some of them were very eager and offensive. They were working uh, in the municipal uh, um, 
arenas uh, trying to influence what they uh, were prior their priority. They thought that oh now it's a lot about maths and reading and writing. What about the aesthetical areas? And one teacher, she was very eager. She said, I want to join every committee, go to every meeting about this. And she said, no, I have come through. Now the aesthetical areas have become more important again. So these are, uh, these interviews have been done in uh, 2013. So it's some years after this plan came, but uh, now the aesthetical areas in this municipality <laughs> has become more important. Uh, in this connection, they didn't mention actually the administrative functions so often. Maybe it is because of the subject. They have to be there organizing and doing reports and so on, but they didn't mention them that often. They said they have to report to the municipality and to the owners about this. Stopping again. <laughs> Merry. <laughs> I'll stop there <laughs> and I said thank you for listening.